Seth, I'm pretty sure you're watching this. Uh, I made this video for you. Let's uh, use a snow day. <laughs> Alright, so today is the snow day. Uh, we don't really get days off of school like this much in Oregon because uh, although it rains a lot, it doesn't really snow a whole lot. Uh, just gonna go around a little bit with Alec. Uh, it's four o'clock right now, so um, the roads have probably melted a bit. Didn't want to run too early because I don't like running and slippery and snow's just, uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll do with it. I feel like this is like a once in a lifetime kind of run. You get in Salem for once in a while. Yeah. It's gonna be a while before this happens again. I can promise that. I'll be honest, I hate the snow. I've never really liked it. It's all cold and wet. But when it gives me a day off of school, I love snow. So yes, if you ask me, I love snow. <laughs> We're in the white forest now. Um, it's kind of cool because aside from us running, we can't really hear anything. It's like, well, we can hear a little bit of cars in the distance, but it's just so peaceful and quiet out here and like so snowy. Like it's something you see in a movie, you know? So yeah, the sun's starting to go down and um, it's really icy out here. Yeah, I see a lot of ice on the road. See this last part, it's really all ice. How did it melt today? Yeah, I think it's because there's all the shade all day. All right, uh, we just got done with the run um, a few minutes ago. Uh, it got dark, it always gets dark really quickly. I don't know why I'm surprised by that. Uh, but yeah, I'm feeling really tired, uh, really hungry, really exhausted. Um, I did drink a bit of water after the run, but yeah. Um, yeah, today it was, it was a pretty tough run, I'm um, not gonna lie. You know, running through Minto, the straightaways always get me. That just long stretch between the edge of the forest and the bridge, it's just, you're surrounded by an empty field, basically. Um, you know, and like, you could just see so far away, you could see like two miles away from uh, pretty much anywhere in Minto. And sometimes it can be quite demoralizing. You're like, wow, I'm really tired and I barely got through this. Or before I turn out around on the loop, I'm like, wow, I still got half this to go. But um, yeah, I reached into the cookie jar. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with what the cookie jar is, it's basically all those like good memories, those confidence builders, um, the times you've proven to yourself that like hey i can actually do this it's reaching in there and it's taking you know a uh, you know cookie out of there it feels good it motivates you at your lowest and okay i was at my lowest today but it was pretty hard at some point so i ate um a lot of cookies probably during the run and also just having a running buddy there um yeah running with anyone really uh whether for me it'd be ben alec ethan aiden just whoever runs with me like all those guys, they help make the run so much easier. Like, it's always fun to have a good conversation with them or to just like kinda, you know, decompress after the run, just talk about life or 
you can always make a run harder mentally. You can always think you're tired. You can always think you're breathing heavier that the run is just too hard for you to finish. You always make it harder in your head um, than it has to be. But yeah, I just want to tell you that, you know, you got what you need to finish the run. You got the mental toughness. You just got to you just really got to get past the mental block and access that part of your brain and just believe in yourself really um and of course i'm not perfect at this but you know we're always getting better that's the whole point of running we're always getting better at this and uh yeah yeah just uh appreciate your running buddies um don't take them for granted and uh yeah you got this go on a run